C'est un acte de guerre qui a été commis par euh, une armée terroriste, Daesh, une armée djihadiste contre la France. There will be no respite from our collective efforts to destroy ISIL. If ISIS wanted to get a reaction from the attacks in Paris, they succeeded. Russia, France, the US, all now focused with fury on ISIS-held cities and infrastructure. But ISIS isn't a mere terrorist army. It has the cash flow of a small country. It's generating 50 to 100 million a month. And revenues from seized oil wells are just part of ISIS Inc. It is a diversified criminal business. So it gets it from oil and oil smuggling, extortion and taxation from the territories that it occupies. It taxes migrant flows. One of ISIS's booming businesses, pillaging of Syria and Iraq's priceless ancient artifacts. As the U.S. Congress heard this week... We've witnessed the worst cultural heritage crisis since World War II. ISIS uses the destruction of ancient sites as propaganda, wielding power over the history of those it considers infidels. But beneath the apparent religious zeal is greed. Before the sites are reduced to rubble, everything of value is carefully saved to be sold on the black market. For ISIS, it's an industrial enterprise. They view these sites as a natural resource to essentially strip mine from the ground. It's a lot like blood diamonds in, in a sense. And like blood diamonds, the trade relies on the ignorance or complicity of wealthy buyers. It was in Syria. Mm. They recently brought it out. There are so many antiquities in the low and middle range value brackets that are already for sale. We know that because it's leaving this digital trail. They're taking lots and lots of photographs of the antiquities, and they're pretty sloppy with where those photographs go. Higher end items dissolve into the existing black market trade in art and antiquities, and could end up anywhere, including the West. It's a highly unregulated market, the art market. It's opaque and it's fragmented. Antiquities provide a way to, for money laundering. Conservative estimates are that the trade in antiquities net ISIS tens of millions of dollars a year. And it can't be bombed like the oil industry. As ISIS faces pressure in the future, it can sell more of the past. Islamic State controls thousands of archaeological sites and scores of cultural repositories that they can loot into oblivion. And it's not just antiquities that are an ISIS growth industry. It's not as large a market as, for example, taxing the Captagon trade. It's a synthetic drug that is massively used in the Middle East. What criminal organization can say no to drugs? There have been production facilities in Syria, and there is a multi-million dollar trade in this drug. It is something that ISIS has latched onto as a possible revenue source. For ISIS, piety is for the propaganda. What really matters is profit. They're a mafia. They're a transnational criminal organization. You scratch the surface and you find out they're really about making as much money as, as they can make. 